Hey y'all, welcome to the Quack Shack. Today's topic is going to be about depression. And the reason I wanted to talk about this today is because I'm on vacation and I know I haven't done a video, but I kind of wanted to ex expand upon why I say what I do at the end of my videos about always smiling at somebody and, you know, you might make their day. Um, I was diagnosed with depression. Well, not diagnosed with depression, but um, I was given antidepressants at the age of 18. And, um, you know, it was because I'd started a job and I was under a lot of stress. And I was crying all the time. All the time. I mean, I couldn't do anything right. I was nervous. I was, you know, it, it, it was just really, uh, really a hard time. Um, no, wait, it wasn't 18. I think I was 21. So I was a little bit older. Um, I had started this job, and I really liked the job, and I wanted to do a good job, but, you know, it was always tough because, you know, every time I uh, got called down on something, I would cry, and, you know, that was the world's worst thing for me because I was a tough kid. You know, I just didn't like crying every time somebody tried to give me constructive criticism, and I don't like looking weak because, you know, I want to be able to do a good job, and most people can handle constructive criticism, you know, but I would start crying, and people would think I was just a big baby, and I hated that, you know, um, and I also hated the fact that people would get down on me because I would get upset when they would give me constructive criticism, so I went to the doctor, and I explained this to her, and so she gave me antidepressants, and, you know, I've been on them for years, and, and, you know, once, once you're on them for quite some time, you know, they did change my life. I went from being, you know, I'd cry all the time to I was back to my normal self. You know, I was back to um, being the kind of girl that, you know, was okay. My moods were pretty much stable, and and I didn't cry so much. And when somebody gave me constructive criticism, I just didn't care. You know, I would take it, and I would do better with it. You know, I, I didn't cry when they gave me constructive criticism, or unless it was really, really hurtful, you know. And some of the people I worked with were really nasty. So they said things to hurt me quite often, and that's why I would cry. And before, I couldn't discern that. You know, because when they were giving me the criticism, it was whether, it was just the fact they were criticizing me. But after the fact, they were really actually trying to hurt my feelings anyway. So, um, so anyway, um, over the years since I've been on the medication, and, you know, I've grown up, and I was married and got divorced, and, you know, you go through a period where the medication works, but you still go through mood swings, and I don't think people realize that. Even though you're on medication, that doesn't mean you're going to not have feelings, and you're not going to go through down times, and you're not going to go through up times. And my family just doesn't understand that sometimes. And I have no friends. So there are times when I'm sad because I don't have physical contact with other people. You know, I don't go out with people. And, you know, when I was married, I stayed by my husband. I didn't go out with my friends. I didn't hang out with people. I didn't leave the house and go out and do things with my single friends and or with my married friends because, you know, my place was with my husband, you know. And when he left me, I was in no way, shape, or form able to leave the house. And if you watch my other videos in my um, my past videos, you'll see why I couldn't. I wasn't in any shape to. Um, now, I'm trying to get back into it, but, you know, people just are not friendly anymore. It is so hard to meet people, and I happen to be a really friendly person. I can walk up and talk to anybody, and I try to smile at everyone, even if they don't smile back at me, and I know one day I was walking through the store. I was going to Walmart, and I was walking through the store one day. And I'll never forget this because it really touched me, and that's why I started saying what I do. Um, this little lady, I walked by her, and I said, hi, and I was smiling, and she said, hi, how and I said, how are you? And she said, I'm not doing so well, but thank you for asking. And I stopped and talked to her for a few minutes, and do you know, she said, you're the only person that has bothered to even find out how I'm doing in a very long time. And 
it struck me that, and she said, you just made my entire day. And it struck me that we all need to slow down. We all need to slow our lives down and just stop and just think about others and give full, you know, pay it forward. If we feel blessed, we need to pay it forward. So here from the Quack Shack, from Tina, not Queen Tina anymore, it's just Tina now. From me, from my heart to yours, just take it slow. Just slow down a little. If you're walking through the grocery store, the market, or down the street, just smile and say hello and say how are you doing or is it isn't it a beautiful day or what a lovely blouse you have on just something beautiful about somebody else and you never know you never know what kind of kindness that could do for someone so that's my advice for you today i don't have a channel to bring for you today um but i will have one next time because i haven't really been online that much this week but um, I love you guys, and remember to smile at someone because you never know if that's going to make a difference in their life. I will see you guys next time, and remember, be safe, be good, and always wear a smile. Love you guys. Bye-bye.